Drawing suggestions with Danny Mojo to Don't let my hypnotic voice fool you. This ain't the real me. Yep, Danny Mojo 2 back here, guys, and it is a party up in here. Today we have drawing suggestions. Triple exclamation mark, so you know we're getting either happy or serious. Let's start off with heads. I should also warn you before this video, I am using the manga drawing style slash anime drawing style. So, like, you may want to stay tuned at the end of this video, because I do explain what you should do when sharing your artwork. Okay. First session. Heads. As you see, we have these heads here. Now, you may be asking, why are there these lines here? These are called guidelines. They help us place the mouth, the nose, the eyes, and the eyebrows. Now in this next one, you may be wondering, why are the ears and that line over, and that line right there gone? Well, that is because this line would be you. This line will be kept if a character is bald, and because this character has hair that's going over her ear, her ears, there's no sense in drawing the ears because they're covered. As I say, ideas for stories. Now come up with things in the world. You make brands. We have the wonderful Insta Noodle brand, the fake company I made up that supplies cell phones, tablets, and computers. Woohoo! And you also need to think of people. What are the people like? Are they snooty and like um yeah? Are they rich? Or are they like? How can I explain this? Um. Are they like all nice? Are they like, hi, eat this free pie. Is there, and you'd be like, is there Xanthax in here? Of course. Like they could be the psycho happy people. Like just be normal people. Like, and think of celebrities. Like what are the celebrities like? Are they the nice celebrities or are they the, mm, yeah. I won't sign your autograph. And think of the cities. Are those, what is city, what type of cities and towns do people live in? Do I have like, big old futuristic metropolis town or do they live in like shanty town and think of car brands i usually do sedans because i mean sedans are awesome they're so good at braking and turning next one hair and characters Mwahaha. sorry i'm being obnoxious today it's my happy day as you see the what's it called we have some very important things to tell Characters, ge characters and genders. We have mouth, eyes, and eyebrows, along with hair, which I didn't include. How? Now let's now forget that there's any uh, eyes, uh, eyes and mouths and eyebrows on these characters. How, we can tell that the that this character is female because of her hair. What's it called? It is. It's too long to be a boy's, and plus has that little curve. What's it called? And plus she looks too feminine. Keep that in mind. Now this girl, now this we can tell is a girl because she has the long hair that seems like it would be for a girl. This can be either a boy or a girl. How do we know? Well, we know because this is. A both gender hairstyle. Sorry for the long pause. It can be for both a boy or a girl, because sometimes girls have short hair and sometimes boys have 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 short hair. Sometimes boys have long hair. Sometimes boys have ponytail. We all know the drill. This is a girl because we can tell because of that hair, though. And also, we can tell their expressions. She is mad. Why? Because she has the tense eyebrows, tense eyes, and an unhappy smile. An, un an unhappy frown. This girl is happy because she has a smile, a nice open wide smile. 
and she has the happy eyebrows, and her eyes are closed. This guy is ha This guy or girl is happy because they have the, or nervous because they have the little nervous eyebrows, the smiley, the open wide smiley, and the closed eyes. This girl is pretty, me is like pretty either mean or she is mad because she has the tense eyebrows. She has the crazy eyes. And she has the sad mouth. Here are some eye styles. We have Zenor. We have this one with the and this is the one with the line at the bottom. This is the one I like using. This one I don't know about that. This one I used to use. That one you can change the eye thing. So this is like so this one would be when you're happy, this one would be when they're tense. This one is usually for females or young kids for young kids from bo as both genders sometimes if it is done right it can be used for boys as you can see we can tell again why this person is sad because of the eyebrows mouth and bum 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 z facial expression details pretty much the eyes mouth and eyebrows we can tell and again i said before boys can have ponytails and when they all come together, they can make they can make your character look nice and tell their personality. Our last and least, be social and respectful. As you can see, this girl is saying, is saying you have bad drawings. Step. This this girl is gonna get the bad karma, but she's also gonna drive this girl to probably hate drawing. And she's bullying her, and that's not good. So sh someone's gonna probably come up here and be like, "Stop bullying her!" And then, oh my God, it's gonna be cat fight wildness. So what's it called? Be respectful. Say nice drawing. At least it may not be much, but at least it's a start. As I always say, remember, drawings can be used as gifts to friends and to help bring friends together who oh, help bring friends together to make peace, to find new friends, and to help people understand you more. A drawing could be just pouring a part, just taking a piece of yourself and putting it onto paper. How come I can make something so amazingly deep? It's like I have this weird trait that I can make something so amazingly deep. When I'm weird. Inception! Boom! Okay, as I say, B, Y, E, E, or B, E, or bye, or bye, or goodbye, cause tonight, tonight, I hope you learned about drawing. Suggestions Cause tonight, tonight I explained Heads and brands Along with hair and characters And, and be social and respectful Good night, good night Good night this ad was brought to you by TVs.